this video I'm going to show you how to work with widgets to build your website or your WordPress website um, and a widget is nothing more than a little piece of an app a piece of software that adds additional functionality in terms of how your website displays to your visitors so um, not all WordPress themes are heavily widgetized if that's a word um, but this one is and it was built using widgets um, and many are and it's, it's something that really confuses people they'll often ask me well how do I make changes to the home page and it's usually because the content was put in a widget somewhere and you can't figure it out or find it so I'm gonna solve that problem so first and foremost let's go ahead and take a look at the site that we're making changes to so this website was built by somebody else I don't know who and here's what it looks like right now um, there's a, a background image that's been installed it's on a, what's called a parallax in terms of it scrolls up and down and that's you know so uh, that's the new terminology new thing in design um, and then there's three pages that have been added as boxes here that are that you can link to but they don't link to anything at this point in time and then there's this learn more which links to something but I don't know what um, I'm not gonna click it so basically and then we have um, some more services and some things down here now every one of these sections is controlled by a widget so this is widgets and this right here is a, is, is a different set of widgets or a different area than these widgets um, and then this bottom area is going to be your footer widgets. So if you understand that, it's like broken up in sections, and the widgets that you install in this section are what's going to to uh, change the appearance of your of your website. So this will make sense in just a few minutes. So let's go back over to the dashboard. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go from my dashboard. I'm going to scroll down on the right on the left hand side to appearance. And I'm going to look and see what themes have been installed and what theme I'm working with because that kind of gives me the big picture, the 30,000 you know, uh, foot view, so to speak. Now, there's lots of themes in, installed here. Only one is active. If you are working with the website and you have all of these themes installed, I highly recommend that you delete all of them except for the maybe may, definitely you have to keep the one that's active um, and maybe one other if, if for whatever reason you needed it. But... Um, this many themes installed in a website is going to do two things. One is a security risk um, because it, uh, it kind of opens gateways for hackers to get into your site and you want to make sure you minimize that as much as possible. And then also it just slows down your site. So, all right, so um, that's an aside. Let's go back to the task at hand, which is working and building the site with, with widgets. So I'm going to go ahead and um, the, th the th active theme is creative. I'm going to click on customize um, this gives me information I'm going to click on customize and what that will do is bring up another set of menu which is basically the control menu for uh, the home page or the theme really the home page and, and what the site looks like in terms of colors and those kinds of things so you can see this whole set of menu that comes up site identity you know that's going to be your tagline the layout, um, you know, whether the sidebar is on the right or the left, is it disabled, um, what the width is, and this particular, each theme is going to be slightly different. This is just for this particular theme, but this layout right here is consistent. This menu item right here is consistent within WordPress. It's, um, what is included in each menu is going to be slightly different based on the theme. Colors, this particular theme gives you different color choices, don't know what those are. Um, menus, uh, you know, this is going to define how many menus you have, whether you can create new menus or add new menus. Um, having uh, lots of menu choices is a good thing, um, so this one does provide that. I'm going to skip over widgets for a moment, and uh, then I'm going to go to static front page. Now this right here is important because it defines what your home page looks like. By default, WordPress and almost every single theme is going to default to your latest post, a post being blogs, as your home page. And that's what this particular website is has been set up as is uh, that you, you know the all this area down here below this little Ty Pittman testimonial once blogs once um, someone starts creating blog content if they're going to it's going to display down here. Um, so 
normally it's going to do default to your latest post and then you can make changes from the widgets which I'll show you in a moment. If you instead wanted a static page you can do that by clicking static page and then this menu is going to drop down and you can choose the page. Normally you're going to have a home page set up here somewhere um, if you're going to have that if you're going to use a static page in this case it wasn't set up that way but let's say just for um, the, the the fun of it we're going to choose this master in art of space and if I were to click that then it's going to come up it's so low at the moment it'll show me that this is what this page looks like so WordPress will display for you right here in a live what you see is what you get uh, space what the uh, what that page would look like. So um, anyway, so like let's say I wanted my story and then you would also be able to choose which page do you want your blog post to show up on so that that's where people would find the uh, blog posts. Um, and normally again if you're going to have a static home page and a separate blog and a separate page that were just for the blog post you're going to have you're going to create a page called blog and then you're going to create a page called home but that's really another video um, right now we're working with widgets and how to utilize them so this gave me a 30,000 point view here or foot view here is what's going on with the theme and um, I'm going to get back over to this because I want you to see that it says when I click on widgets there's no widgets installed on this page and the reason that is is because it's the blog page um, so it's defaulted to the blog page so this widget area is going to come into account if you're using a static home page so um, if that confuses you put a comment in and I'll clarify that with another video but I'm just trying to explain what the types of things you're going to run into as you are working within WordPress okay so now what I want to do as I didn't make any changes I'm going to go back to the menu or the dashboard of my WordPress site. So if I go to dashboard now I'm going to come down to customize. Um, actually I'm not going to go to customize I'm sorry I'm going to go to widgets. And this theme is what is highly widgetized if that's a word. Each one of these little white block areas define what I was talking about earlier when you go to this home page it's a section. So think of this as a section of a uh, of a page if you were to take a, a piece of paper and draw a line down the middle and or you know and dry three or dry, draw three lines you know horizontally each that there's going to be a top section a middle section and a bottom section so think of it that way um, here we have a section it's called the header top that is this area right here in this particular website um, then we've got top widgets which is in this particular website that's these three things right here this master of space art of space and clarity of space and I'll show that to you again in a moment and then um, there's a sidebar and every one of these widgets allows you to add content into it if you wanted to now you can see here that if I open up each of these widgets there's a text box um, and um, I'll explain that in a moment. A text, well, I'll explain it right now. A text box basically is an empty box that you can put anything you want into. You can write words, you can put code, um, you can add images in using code. Um, you can there's just you can add there's just it, it, it's the most functional widget available within your WordPress site. Um, so mo you, it's, and it's going to be the one that you use the most. Now you can see here on the sidebar that there is search categories, comments, calendar, and tag clouds that have been installed. Um, and that would be appropriate when you actually when, once you would see that once people actually started uh, creating blog posts. So but you can get rid of these things if you didn't want them there. I didn't create this site so I'm not going to move things around but like let's say if I wanted to get rid of this I would just drag it back over and you can see that it's now gone um, but I'm going to go ahead and put it back because uh, I don't remember what it was um, was it tag cloud 
well I'm not gonna I won't save it so that'll make it go back so um, Anyway, so that's how you're going to drag and drop widgets back and forth. Um, okay, and so let me just go ahead and show you how it works. I'll have to come back and fix that after the video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this text box. And you can see it just drags. And I'm going to just scroll it over. I'm just going to take my mouse until I get it to where I want it to get. So I'm going to add this to the header top. So you can see I've added this text box. There's nothing in it. So right here, you can see what, uh, I, and I'm just going to add it in here. And I'm, then I'm going to put a little piece of content. So there's nothing here right now. So I'm going to put in here, and it's, uh, this is what I do when I'm working with widgets. I'm going to go, where does this show up? And this is, you know, and, um, and I'm going to put, and then in the content, I'll put header top. That lets me know where this text, um, and I'll click save. So, and I will actually do this, and I'll add one of these when I'm creating a website and trying to figure out how it works. I'll drag one of these text uh, widgets into every one of the widget areas with that kind of language. So that then gives me a really good layout of a visual layout of how each widget area works so that I know what I want to add to it or not. Um, and so now if I come back over here and I refresh the website, you can see this is going to show you because now there's this little thing here that says, where does this go? Um, and I could add additional ones. You can, you can play with it. You kind of get the idea. And if I want to delete a widget, I can drag, I'm just going to click delete. So now let's look at here, this header top, you can see that this is the code for the parallax. So if I were to take this out and I'm going to do that so you can see, I'm going to delete this code. I've got it saved somewhere else, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to actually delete this whole widget out of here. And now if I were to come over and refresh, you can see that it's completely, that background is completely gone. And now you have just the um, top widgets, which is the, the banner, welcome to Art of Space, and, and the, uh, that information that actually is this banner here, and that, that's what this is. And then the top widgets too is, uh, no, this is main body. And you just have to play with it. Um, I didn't build this website, so um, here's the testimonial. Um, so you just kind of have to play and see if you're working with a site that somebody else built. Um, that's how you're going to manage it. You're just going to click in there. You're going to look and see, all right, what what is this? Where is it showing up? Um, or, again, what I like to do is I like to just drag a text box into each widget, type in some information, and um, it'll tell me. It gives me a big lay of the land a really good lay of the land. So that's how you work with widgets. I need to add this back in over here. And um, if you have any questions, put a comment below in the video or on the blog if you see it wherever you happen to see this content. Um, and I will also make a point that I actually am not a big, huge fan of using um, widgets to build a website. I prefer this wonderfully amazing tool called um, Thrive Content Builder. I'm putting a link to it again in the video below um, and I highly recommend that you check that out because it makes it a lot simpler to build your websites and a what you see is what you get gives you much more control but um, I want you since most people it's been one of the biggest questions I get I wanted to make sure that you understood how to work with widgets how to problem solve your content and making changes to your website if that um, if you're having if you're trying to work with one and can't figure it out so comment below with any questions i'm here to help and i um thanks for watching the video